Hi everyone, let's prove that the rationals are countable using the Cantor snake. So the rational numbers are those numbers that can be written as A over B that are governed by certain rules. And A and B are in the integers. Now, they're not all distinct. So for example, 1 over 2 is equal to 2 over 4 but we're not going to worry about that just yet. I'll, I'll mention that in a, in a moment. And we're also going to be working with the positive rationals initially. And what we want to do is put the positive rationals in bijection <coughs> in bijection with the positive integers. So we want to list them out like this which doesn't seem possible but we will show that it is possible. So look at this array here, this infinite array. In row i and column j we write the number i over j. Now it's clear that all rational numbers are in this matrix, this infinite matrix. So what we do is that first we, our first element is this one, then we go like, then we go to this one, and then we go to this, then we go to this, then we go here, here, and then here, and then here, and then here, here, down here. So you can tell from this pattern, this snake-like pattern where, where we're going like like this, that's the Cantor snake, that eventually everything is going to get hit. Now this might seem a little uh, difficult to write down precisely, so there is another way which is, let me just erase these ones here, The other way is to do a not connected method where first you do this, then you do this, then you do this diagonal, then you do this diagonal, and you keep going across diagonals like that. And this should work because like, this is actually not easy, sorry, not difficult to write down because what's going to be true is that if you look at each diagonal, the in the nth diagonal, the each numerator plus denominator equals to uh, that the, the diagonal number plus one. So the first one is going to be two, the second one's going to be three, the third one's going to be four, and so on. Uh, I'll leave it to you to check that out. So the positive rationals are countable. We just showed that they are. Now we have to show that the rationals themselves, which has more than double the size in a sense, is also countable. And the way that we're going to do that is similar to how we show that the integers are countable. What we do is that we take 0, then we take 1, then we take the negative of that element, then we do 2, and the negative of 2, then 3, to the negative of 3 and so on. So we just keep going like that switching between positive and negative. So now that we know that the positive rationals are in bijection with the positive integers, the existent enumeration q1, q2, q3 and so on. So all we have to do is the following for the rationals. We do 0, q1, negative q1, q2, negative q2, q3, negative q3, and we just keep going like that. And that way we have shown that the rationals, all of them, are also in, in bijection with the positive integers. And the last thing I want to mention is that the Cantor snake, like we, 
The reason that this part doesn't matter is that we can always skip over repeats. We're, we're, we're sort of going through a process in the Cantor snake. So if we ever come across a fraction that's already been iterated over previously, except in a different form, we just skip over it. And we still iterate over all the rationals that way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.